Thank you. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Edwin and to Lutz for inviting me to speak here today. And I'd like to thank every one of you for coming out for this demonstration. Six years ago, I formed the English Defence League and I'm proud of forming a resistance in my home country to the Islamisation of my town and my country. When I formed the English Defence League, I knew full well, as we should learn from history, anyone who speaks out, who is critical of Islam, risks their life. You will be attacked and you will be violently beaten and people will want to kill and murder you. I knew that and I expected that. What I didn't expect was state persecution. I didn't expect my political leaders to choose sides. They have chose sides. What we need to all understand is the European Union, our leaders, have chosen a side. They have not chosen to stand on the side of freedom and democracy. They have chosen to stand on the side of Sharia. We tried. As the English Defence League, we tried to enter Europe. I came to Amsterdam before, we went to Denmark. And if I'm, if I'm honest, we wasn't successful. Europe wasn't ready. I've sat for the last 18 months and I've watched the leader grow. And I now realise from everyone here today, Europe is now ready. Now is the moment and now is the time. When, let's talk about Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel. Ooh, Angela, Merkel. Angela Merkel says, as, as does my Prime Minister David Cameron, they say multiculturalism has failed. When, when Angela Merkel says multiculturalism has failed, what she really means is Islam has failed. But she's too cowardice to say Islam has failed. So seeing as she is on record as saying it has failed, she is now importing one and a half million fake refugees. Yes. These people will come to Germany. This is when, if you're sitting in your own European country, if you're sitting in England, you're sitting in France, you're watching what's happening in Germany, you're watching what's happening in Europe, it affects you. When she invites one and a half million fake refugees who have no intention of integration, no intention of assimilation, when they are allowed to bring their families, that one and a half million will become six million. We're part of a European free trade movement in Europe. It is ill affects you. They can travel from Germany to Britain. These decisions are being made. We cannot look upon it as, as if it is a de decision being made far away in Germany because it is going to directly affect every single one of us in our own European countries. Yes. Time for Tommy Robinson or the English Defence League standing alone and demonstrating in Britain has gone. What we need is solidarity and unity across Europe. We don't need individual demonstrations in one country. I've said I've been watching tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people marching across Europe. What we need is everyone united under one banner. And I know Pegida in, are in contact with groups in Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Russia, Poland, France, Sweden, all across Europe. And a, a date is coming. And on that date, people will take to the streets of every single European country. They will take to the streets to oppose the invasion. And all I ask, if you're watching this in England, you're watching in, in your, your European countries, no one would know who I am if it wasn't for the brave and fearless people who supported me in the English Defence League. No one would know who looks is if it wasn't for the brave people of Pegida. We don't make it possible. You make it possible. We need every single one of you. When that date is given, which it is coming, we need every one of you. If you're a man and you're sitting at home and you're watching this, you have to ask yourself, ask yourself, what can you do? Are you doing enough to protect your children's future? Everyone can do more. And that's all I ask. All I ask is that when that date comes, when it comes, join us, follow us, support us.
We must. And that is what, to be honest, the reason I came here, the reason I came here today is to meet Edwin, is to meet Lutz, and is to make a friendship and a partnership. And we stand together. All of us stand together. We stand together to save our culture. Save our cultures. There's a reason why the state wished to... When I watched Pegida form, I sat there knowing exactly what is heading Lutz's way. I know if you stand up, you'll be persecuted, you'll be attacked. There's a reason why the state fear Lutz. There's a reason why they fear, fear, fear myself in, the, in England. It's because we can bring people together, we will work together, and we're going to enter into a new era in Europe where everyone's going to unite against the Islamisation of our, of our countries. God bless and thank you for coming, and God bless and thank you for coming. Thank you very much for our